Now let's return to the situation where your aim is being determined by something petty and superficial. Let's break it down. Four steps. Five steps that I highlighted. One, imagine that you come to notice and contemplate and reconsider your unhappiness. You accept responsibility for it and you dare to posit that it might be something at least partly under your control. Two, you crack open one eye for a moment and look. You ask for something better. You sacrifice your pettiness, repent of your envy and open your heart. Three, instead of cursing the darkness, you let in a little light. You decide to aim for a better life instead of a better office. Four, you realize that it's a mistake to aim for a better life if it comes at the cost of worsening someone else's. So you get creative. You decide to play a difficult game. Decide that you want a better life in a manner that would also make the life of your family and peers better. Five, your life indeed improves. You start to think further, better. Perhaps that means better for me and my family, my friends, even for my enemies. But that's not all it means. It means better today in a manner that makes everything better tomorrow, next week, next year, and a decade from now, a hundred years from now, a thousand years from now, forever. This is, this is making a, a decision to live a better life today for yourself, consequently has a cascading effect that, that lasts forever. People are much more powerful than they think. Only they realized it. Only they realized it. Like, think about this. Every single video you watch on YouTube or Facebook that, that inspires you and tweaks your philosophy slightly, you're one person. Think about the thousands of other people that is occurring to and how they are then influencing other people. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful, magnificent thing.